Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am here with what I melted for the last week. Um, again, I don't have a ton of empties like I used to. I don't have as many warmers going as I used to, and you'll have to excuse my mom's cat taking a bath in the background. Um, anyways, so, um... I used to, in the other house, I used to have six warmers going and I would change my wax out like twice a day. I'd put something in in the morning and I'd change it like mid-afternoon, late afternoon around dinner time. And then I'd dump it at bedtime. Well, I've really not been doing that. I only have four warmers going here and I've really just been keeping the same wax on all day. Like not even thinking about changing it, which I need to really get better at doing. The other thing that I am doing is instead of melting like one piece out of something I tr I've been really trying to focus on finishing that item so if I start a scent shot finish it not have half a scent shot sitting around if I have like a sample like I had bought a sampler from sassy girl and they're her chunks well each chunk I cut into either two or three pieces depending on the size so instead of melting one little piece from the chunk I try to focus on the whole thing and so that of course gives me not as many empties too. So, um, but I will actually have a decent amount of February empties, I believe. So the end of February, next week is going to be the end. So next Friday, I will have three videos for you. I will have what I melted for the previous week, my melt box for the next week, and then I will have my empties. So I have been saving my empties since I started recording again. So I'm just going to jump right in because of course I don't have a whole lot to show you guys, but... Anyways, the first thing I have is from L3, 8 Crazy Nights Blackberry Jelly Fried Dough Hint of Campfire Smoke. This one I really love. This was from my doggy bag, um, custom doggy bags from early 2018. There's not a lot left. There's maybe three or four pieces left. I cut them in half, so I can't tell. One, two. There's like six halves left, so that's the equivalent of three full pieces. So this is a very good scent. So L3 lasts a very long time. I have seen people melt four or five year old L3 and it's still throwing like a beast. And this is two years old now. Still very strong. I am loving the blackberry and campfire scents together. I have another one from a different vendor in my box as well that I've melted on this week. This one I think is my favorite. It is a sweeter blackberry. You definitely get that fried dough note, but you get that campfire smoke. It is just an amazing scent. I, I like this one better. I think the blackberry jelly is what makes it different than the other vendor one that I have. Because I think the other one might be blackberry jam butter cookies. I'm not sure. But this one is like a sweeter blackberry. And I really like this one a lot better. This one I would pick up. I have a long list of customs that I want to get from her again. But I have so much L3. I really need to focus on what I have. I did actually place a ready to ship order from her. She restocked loaves and scoops um, last Friday. And I did go ahead and place um, an order, a couple orders. And so those will be here today. So Monday I will have that for you. But yeah, um, I really need to focus on what I have and finish that up before I buy more. However, I do have a very long customs list for her and this is definitely on it for whatever I can get, whether it's a scoops or these, the doggy bags. I don't know if she does doggy bags anymore in customs or if it's just the chunks and the loaves and the scoops, but this scent is definitely stock up worthy. It is really good for winter. I love this scent in the winter because of that campfire smoke. It's just a nice cozy scent for when it's cold out so and speaking of here's the other one it's bob bomb blast from rose girls which is oh it's just plain blackberry so it's not blackberry jam it's blackberry campfire marshmallow vanilla bean oil and glazed donuts so again the other one had fried dough and this one has glazed donuts the difference is this one isn't as sweet because this one has that just the blackberry so it's like a more of a tart blackberry whereas the l3 is a blackberry jelly so it's more of a sweeter blackberry to my nose i do like the l3 one better i really like this one from rose girls but i like the l3 one better so this was from that mario pre-order she did back in late 2018 um i still have i think another muffin of bob on blast and then i have a couple other things from that pre-order that was an amazing pre-order. Um, I love the Mario blends. But anyways, I love Mario in general. So this is really good. Like I said, it's not as sweet. It's more of a tart. 
blackberry but it still is very good and this performs very well so um rose girls i was having a lot of performance issues from rose girls in the other house and again i think it just was the ceilings the ceilings were really tall and then the air vents were all in the ceiling and i think it just stirred the the scent around up in the ceiling and didn't really push it down and because we've been here four months now and I've not had a problem melting any vendor. L3, uh, not L3, um, VCS, K's, and Rose Girls were the three I had the most trouble with in the other house. I've not had a single problem melting those three vendors in this house. They all perform very well, so. All right, then from Sassagora Aroma, Vanilla Pumpkin Marshmallow Type, Creamy Vanilla Pumpkin Spice Homemade Marshmallow Drizzled Caramel. This I put on in my bedroom this morning. I love this scent. This reminds me of that vanilla, is it the pumpkin marshmallow cream? I think it is from um, Walmart. I think that's what the, they come out with it every single fall. I think it's pumpkin marshmallow cream, if I'm not mistaken. This is almost identical to that. This smells exactly like it to me. This was in the, that sampler that I was talking about. I had gotten a, like a two pound sampler and I cut um, this chunk into three pieces because I melted one last week. This is an amazing scent. I know we're out of pumpkin season, but I am not really a seasonal melter. I will melt beachy in the summer and pumpkin in the fall, but the rest of the year, spring and winter, I do whatever I feel like. I will do pumpkin, I'll do beach, I'll do whatever because I don't do a lot of florals for spring. And in winter, I don't do a lot of pine and peppermint. So I do some, but not as much. So I just melt what I want. Like winter and spring are more of a free for all for me. All right, then I dug into from Super Tarts, Happy Birthday and Hagrid. This one is an amazing blend. So this has been um, renamed Happy Birthday Harry. This is old. This is probably going on two years old. I got this in a D-stash. I do not know when it was made. But she did this combination and then she wound up um, making it uh, permanent. And it's Happy Birthday Harry in the Wizards Wax collection. So this was a BAM bag. And when I got this, it was almost full full I believe this is an amazing scent I love Hagrid because it's got shaving cream I love shaving cream and wax but then you add that happy birthday and it's just it's really good I never thought I would like this combination but I love it all right just a couple more things I did not finish and then I do have a pile of things I did finish from Dessa's I'm still working on this North Pole Bakery scent shot um this one is a blend of baked gingerbread loaded with molasses rich buttery sugar cookie peppermint candy this just has that spice note in it I can't stand so it on cold it smells like minty gingerbread but on warm it's got some spice and I'm not a fan so I've been sticking this in the living room and kind of hanging out in my bedroom while it's been melting to kind of just not be around it, which is sad. I have a whole nother scent shot of this, so I may pass that along to somebody. Maybe I'll give it to my mom, but I'm not a fan. And that's one reason why when she does her pre-orders, I love buying scent shots in those scents because then I can test them out and see what I want to get in bulk for the next pre-order. So that's why I do that. I buy a lot of scent shots during a pre-order of hers. So then I know the next pre-order to get, you know, shapes or mini loaves and no scents and then get scent shots and new scents that I want to try. All right. So the last thing that we have is beach brulee from Sassagora Roma. Raspberry brulee, cinnamon rolls, beach nights. This I had gotten from Megan. We had done a trade. And she sent me a bunch of Beach Nights blends from her um, her personal stash. So, um, and I had sent her, I don't remember when now what I sent her. Maybe Super Tarts? I don't remember. It's, it was a while ago. It was probably like spring or summer of last year. So there's one little piece left of here. I do have a partial or full poly bag of this. So I'm okay finishing this up. This is an amazing scent. So I've started really loving the cinnamon roll scents because most vendors it's a sweeter cinnamon you definitely get that beach nights that beach nights comes out every single blend i have melted from her that beach nights comes out very strongly um there's a little bit of that raspberry but it's mostly cinnamon rolls and beach nights and it's amazing all right now on to what i have finished for the week not a lot but still enough to be excited over i guess i'll start with bags so 
from um, Hayden Rowe. I finished Pink Clouds. It's Pink Sugar White Clouds. I do have some of this coming from L3. She had a Pink Sugar White Clouds um, sent in puppy pack, so I did buy a few of those, so those will be in my haul. I love Pink Sugar and White Clouds. I finished a winter nap. So these were the ducky samples. This was an amazing scent. I don't know the scent notes, but it was super good. Turquoise Sky from Hayden Row. This one's another one that's really good. Seagrass, Ocean Air, Creamy Musk. And the last bag is Sassy Girl Roma Mom's Day Off, which is a flirty and sweet blend of juicy cherry, sparkling champagne, red hibiscus. I did not think I was going to like this because of the champagne and the cherries, but this was amazing. It was very nice, fruity, bubbly. I actually really enjoyed this scent a lot. Um, this was in that sampler that I got with that vanilla pumpkin thing. I would actually buy this. I'd buy it in like a brittle. All right, then I have a few scent shots. So from Teddy Bee's, I did blueberry lemon cheesecake. And this is creamy cheesecake, blueberries, vanilla buttercream, lemon zest, and sugar cookie. This was super good. Really, really good. A nice blueberry lemon bakery. I love blueberry and lemon mixed when it's in a bakery. Oh my God. This just performed very well. So I cut these in quarters. I did a quarter in my living room and a quarter in my kitchen and a quarter in my bedroom one day. And then I used the last quarter in my kitchen the next day. And it was just a really good blend. Another one from Teddy Bee's is this Do Amore. And this one is creme brulee, vanilla cake pops, and vanilla cream. This one's a little bit lighter. It still is a nice bakery scent, but it's a light bakery because of all the vanilla. But it was still really good. Again, I cut that in quarters. Then I did Marshmallow Fireside from K's. So I, these are the one ounce scent shots. I've cut them in half. I did half last week and half this week. This, oh my God, her Marshmallow Fireside is really good. So my favorite Marshmallow Fireside is that Smell Good Shops. Marshmallow Fireside, this is a close second. This I would buy again. So K is another one I had issues with in the other house. I could not get a throw to save my life, but it throws like a beast here. And half, half of this one ounce scent shot is perfect. And this just is a very nice creamy Marshmallow Fireside. That is a lot like Bath and Body Works. And the last empty I have for this week is White Clouds from K. Again, cut it in half, did it in the bathroom. This is really nice as well. I would buy this again and maybe a two ounce. That's why I bought a lot of these one ounce to see if I wanted bulk. But I didn't get a very good throw from her stuff. So I was really disappointed. And I felt like I was kind of wasting my time trying to melt her stuff. But now that I've moved, things are a lot better in the melting department. I will definitely place another order with her once I get my stash down, but this one's another one that I really enjoyed. So that is everything for this week. I will be back with my picks for next week. I am adding a few things because I have emptied quite a bit. So I'm, I'm adding just a few to kind of make up for the things I've emptied and I will be back with that video shortly. Bye.